Hey guys, it's Tanya here. Thanks for watching. So as you can see from the start of this video, I got my Vanity Girl Hollywood Starlet Mirror today. And I am so excited. So for those of you who don't know, Vanity Girl makes amazing lighted um, desk and wall mount mirrors. They're beautiful. I'm going to show you guys one in a minute. But I have wanted one of these for the longest time. Probably close to three years I have wanted one of these. Maybe two years. A long time either way. And um... It's taken me a long time to get one. I actually received this one as a Mother's Day present from my boyfriend, who is an amazing man. I became a mother for the second time in December of this last year. I have a four-month-old son named Paxton, and most of you know I have an eight-year-old son named Logan. And I'm a makeup artist as well. I have the hardest time finding a space in my room for just me. That's my makeup, my area, some place that I just feel relaxed and that I can make myself feel beautiful by putting my makeup on. When I had the baby, we live in a two-bedroom basement suite, so his room, as you can see, got moved into my room. So I didn't have a space. So with this coming into the family, the family I should say, this coming into the household, we've created me a space in my room that's just mine. So I'm going to turn around and show that to you guys. So this is the space that is now just my space. So I always had the desk there and the Alex 4 drawer, or 6 drawer I should say, but this never felt like my space. Like there wasn't brushes on the wall, there wasn't great lighting. I didn't love doing makeup in here. In fact, I had to move things around to do makeup in here and I found it a huge pain. But with the lighted mirror today, my boyfriend set it up for me and we spent all day buying shelves and organizing and I really feel like this is my corner now to do my makeup, to do my videos for you guys, and just to enjoy makeup. So I'm going to show you guys some additions of this corner first. So we added a shelf down here for brushes and then we added two shelves up here to just store brushes or makeup things on. So this is like lip pencils and mascaras and then up there is Mark. Um, lip glosses. The reason why those are up there is because when I'm doing a video or my makeup, I'll generally pull my lip pencil before I start so I don't need to be reaching for those all the time. And then on the desk now is the Starlit. So this is the Starlit Lighted Vanity Mirror. This also comes in a wall mount style, but I wanted the desktop. Originally I wanted this in pink, which was limited edition. They no longer have any right now. They are, I think, bringing them out again, and they've got like a pink list. So if you're interested in the pink one, email them. I will link them below, and you can get your name on the list for a pink one. But it comes in, I think, white, silver, and black. I got it in black because I think for me it's the most interchangeable. So this is what it looks like with the lights off. I've got my bright light on right now. And I'm going to show you guys some features first, and then we will talk about... Um, some, you know, spec detail stuff, basically. Ignore the makeup on my desk, that's for, for a giveaway for tomorrow. So basically, this is the base down here. It comes pretty much all assembled. This piece all comes as one. Doesn't have the light bulbs in it yet, though. And this comes as a separate piece. There are three screws, and I don't think you're going to be able to see them. There's one right there, and there's one in the back and one on the other side that hold this piece onto this piece. It's very sturdy, as you can see. I can, you know, like... Give it a good shake and nothing happens. This is the Vanity Girl logo right there. This is made of, I'm assuming it's like some form of steel. It's quite hard. Like as you can hear. Oh, I'm dropping stuff. Sorry, guys. But it's quite hard. It's very well constructed. I find it very sturdy. It was packaged beautifully. So that was really exciting. I'll talk about that again in a minute. And then on my base, I've just put some... Some things that I really love, like this is a Your Best Friend lipstick that I just love the casing of. Like, isn't that just gorgeous? So that's out here. And this is the makeup that I use most often. That's on that side. You can also put makeup up here on the ledge. There's a little ledge there. But I don't really, I don't know, I just don't like seeing makeup in my mirror when I'm doing my makeup. So that's why I don't have it there. The way you turn the lights on, I'm going to actually turn this one off first. The way you turn the lights on is there's a little gold knob. Let's see if I can find that little knob here. There it is. So you'll hear it click. There's the click, and then you'll see the light bulb. There's the light bulb. So this is the dimmest it goes. So it looks like that when it's really dim, as you can see. And then when you turn the knob, you can make it brighter as you turn it up. See how bright that's getting? And this is at its brightest. So this is the mirror at its absolute brightest. So it is quite bright, which I really, really like about it. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I think you can get a pretty, um, ignore me, I look like, hell because I've just been doing this and organizing all this all day but I think you can get a pretty accurate makeup from that lighting 
And I'm really excited to use this, not just for my own personal makeup, but also for work makeup. Because one of the greatest tips as a makeup artist I can give you is if you're in an area where you don't have a lot of natural light, what you do is you do all your makeup, then you have them face the mirror, and you step about six feet behind them and look into the mirror. That will give you the most accurate depiction of what that, fi what that makeup is going to photograph or film like. Um, so that's what we were taught in school anyway, and that's what I've always used, and it seems to work for me. So anyway, this is a great Mother's Day present, guys out there who are watching this video, or girls out there who are going to send the link for this video to your boyfriends or your husbands. Mother's Day is around the corner. It's a great gift to make her feel special, especially if she likes makeup. You know, it's a beautiful piece of furniture in itself. Um... If not for Mother's Day, birthdays, Christmas, I mean, it's just a great gift if you want to spoil somebody. And if you just want to spoil yourself, buy one. They're not that expensive. I think they're $2.99, and they ship for free anywhere in the States. Um, shipping to Canada is a little bit more, but you can email them for a price quote. But they ship anywhere in the States. Their customer service is amazing. I have had no issues dealing with them. I found them very friendly. On top of that, my shipping, I'm pretty sure it was under 10 days by the time I paid for this mirror and it was received. I think it was five days. Don't quote me on that. I'll probably write it in the down bar, but it was no more than 10 days. I don't know any company that has that kind of service, so I'm very impressed with the company itself, and I love the mirror as a whole. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. For any questions you have about these mirrors, they have other models as well. You can follow the website, the link to the website in the down bar and email them. I dealt with Laura. She's fabulous. Um, but I know that there's other people who work there so you can deal with any of them. You can also find them on Facebook. I will link that in the down bar as well. Have a happy Mother's Day in May. Look forward to some more videos coming and a new video format that I'm going to try with the vanity mirror because I'm really excited to kind of have this look in my, in my videos. So I'm going to try and incorporate the whole mirror into my videos. So we'll see how I do with that. But again, thanks for watching so much. Thanks to my wonderful boyfriend for this because this literally has made me the happiest girl ever. And um, I will see you guys soon. Bye, guys.